Welcome, welcome, welcome to our first lecture number one, which is, and I'm so glad that you are here, which is on understanding prayer and the five elements. Um, this course is on effective prayer principles. Here at Faith Leads University, I am so glad that you have taken in this course. It is definitely going to be something that you can apply in your spiritual life. All right, so I want to make sure that I shared the course materials for this course, um, the required text, um, which would be for the readings that you will have um, coming up. There is Bible Prayer Study Course, uh, which is a book by Kenneth Hagen. And then the main book that we will be uh, looking at is The Power of Transforming Prayer. And these are the books here. The additional materials that you would need for learning that you will have an opportunity at some point to utilize, as you see the Bible app. If you don't have access to the Bible app, you can definitely use the old fashioned way of a Bible, physical Bible. Make sure you have um, internet connection that is stable because there will be some videos that you would um, have to watch as well as creating a flip grid um, for upcoming assignments as well. And also Google Chat is a way to just communicate and do some discussions. Also have here hyperlinked our a student app where you can get further information about dates, um, the course schedule, any news, also read a little bit more about me as your instructor, your lecturer, your professor. All right, let's begin. Oh, we didn't want to do that. <laughs> Just did that. Sorry about that. All right, so our learning target is to define what prayer is. Also summarize the role of prayer effectively create a personal prayer journal, and then make a plan for organized prayer. Um, this particular lecture this week is coming from the Power of Transforming Prayer book. Um, the readings are from pages 11 through 37. And there's always gonna be a question or questions for thought. So for this particular lecture lesson, how is worship stimulated? Are you thankful for everything? When have you felt that God was listening to your prayers? Then the skills covered in this course is definitely some life application skills, personal um, Christian development, and then also key buzzwords. Um, the key buzzwords here is worship, thanksgiving, confession, Petitions, prayers, intercessions, practical application. Just know that you need to, by the end of this lecture lesson, to have your own buzzword definition in your own words. And then the related scriptures are Luke 11, 1, 1 Chronicles 16, 29, and then Psalm 118 1, Psalm 32 5, and then 1 Timothy 2 1 from the NIV version. So definitely make sure that you have these in your notes. So let's get down to the substance. So, what is prayer? Prayer is certainly a gift from God. This is our connection, this is our spiritual oxygen that every Christian person has the opportunity to further 
with their Christian walk with God. It's just that nourishing, nurturing of the relationship with our almighty God. So this is a divine, wonderful connection that we all can do to cry out to God. So prayer, finding power in conversation with God. Now my personal quote, which is your prayers are powerful words to God. So what is the purpose of prayer? So the purpose of prayer is to ultimately get closer um, to God's presence. Now, we do this to strengthen our faith walk, our, our claim to Christian walk. It's, it's the divine connection that assists us to get to know our savior better. Because who would be in any relationship and don't talk? If you don't talk, you don't communicate or have a form of a designated communication, the relationship is not there. There is no relationship because there's not a connection that's going on. And so it's the same thing with prayer. So this is a burning question that I know most students um, in this course always um, kind of ask because they're like, well, why should I, should we pray? I mean, this is the 21st century. You know, they did it way back then. You know, is it something that we need to do right now? And the answer to that, yes. There's a lot of reasons to pray. So it's a sign of faith and a form of serving and obeying our Lord and Savior. So according to Philippians 4, um, verse 6 through 7, God commands us to pray because do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present, um, present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So this is why we should do that. And now the best teacher of all, Jesus taught us how to pray. According to Matthew 6, 9 through 13, which is part of the NIV, and that's what NIV stands for, New International Version. So this is the, the famous, infamous Lord's Prayer. And it breaks it down to the steps, which are we, we will be discussing in um, other lectures that you will see. So the question about the elements to have a well-balanced prayer life. In order to have a well-balanced prayer life, we have to have worship and adoration. We need to have thanksgiving, confession, petition, and intercession. Now these five elements will be broken down um, even further when we talk about the types of prayer for each one of them. First and foremost, we need to worship and adore our Lord and Savior because it alleviates us from thinking that um, we are higher. It's a humbling experience when you can worship and adore someone that is so powerful and listens to us and being thankful, which goes back to that question of thought, you know, how thankful are you or are we? And then confession, we, we definitely are going to dive in on confession, how important it is, because it's going to be a key to getting a prayer through. And we'll talk further on that with other um, lessons. And then your petition and intercessor, <clears throat> intercession, which is basically intercessory prayer, which is where you move aside yourself and you start praying and thinking of others. And that 
is all of the elements of a well-balanced prayer life. And according to Psalm 34, 4, I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Now, here is a simple plan for acts of prayer, which would actually help you to remember the elements. So the adoration, which is God, you're awesome. And I had mentioned that before. Confession, please forgive me and clean my heart. The thanksgiving, thanks for all you have done, even down to the minute things. I know some people would say, ah, oh, man, you, you're thanking God, you know, for the big things. But we have to start at the smaller things. And that smaller thing is, you know, shelter, being able to get out of bed early in the morning be able to wash our hands, to see small things that we may take for granted. And that's what Thanksgiving is all about. And then supplication, which is helping others and giving, um, you know, where that in the Lord's prayer, give me daily bread, break bread with our brothers and sisters, with our neighbors, our coworkers, help others more than yourself. And then this is one of the exercises that you will um, do for this particular lesson, which is our daily prayer journal creation setup. So in this assignment, you are going to set up your prayer journal with uh, an area to keep track of each day you go to God in prayer. So you need to, excuse me, put a date and time. You need to put that devotion. Um, you need to have a scripture that goes along with your prayer journal that may be the focus. And then as I've broken it down in adoration, which is your worship, I love you, Lord, because. And these are just sentence starters so that you can actually have consistency within your prayer journal. Confession, please forgive me for. Your gratitude journaling, today I'm thankful for. Intercession, people I'm praying for. And then your petition, Lord, I need your help too. And then also you wanna put a section um, for answered prayer, you know, leave an area where you can recall and remember what prayers have been answered. So here's a hint. This can be handwritten or electronically, meaning that you can definitely have it on a Word um, software, Microsoft Word, Google Docs, whichever you have. And I also had another notepad that you can utilize. Just remember, if you're going to handwrite this, you will need to be able to scan it for submission for this course. So you're gonna pray every day for four weeks, writing prayers in your prayer journal, record the known responses for God. Meaning if there is a, um, an answer, you wanna be able to record it and write it down. So I thank you so much for joining the first lecture, give yourself a round of applause because you have just journeyed into an ultimate exciting journey of a class, which is talking about prayer principles. So until next time, which is the next course <laughs> in the next class um, lecture, um, you can definitely reach out to me and may God bless.